Hi friends, it's Hannah, and I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm going to be making high-end succulents, and I place them on a tall planter. I do have an inspiration piece, but I used it mainly because I love the snake plants on top, and the yellow and red flowers on one side, and the dark color on the right, but I'm sure I can do it for less. I started out with an 18 inch bamboo bowl that was painted black on the bottom and is absolutely beautiful. There are just a few chips in the black paint, but the inside is pristine. It was $5.49, but I would like to use it again with other projects. So I used a pasta bowl from my kitchen and I used the round white floral discs from the Dollar Tree and a stand that I purchased at the thrift store for $2.49. I used succulents from Michaels and the Dollar Tree and snake plant picks from Michaels and I put those in a half round styrofoam dome from the Dollar Tree and I also used reindeer moss. I like to change my florals out seasonally and I for sure do not want to mar this beautiful bowl. I definitely want to use it again in the future. So I take the snake plant picks that I have uh, placed inside of the disc and I put a lot of hot glue on it and I do use Gorilla Glue because the adhesion is so good and it holds the styrofoam to the glass. I put this in the center of the pasta bowl that's been inverted and I hold it until it is completely set because the snake plant is a little bit heavy but it holds up extremely well. I take the four discs, actually I use five discs, and I glue all of the discs onto a little bit onto the styrofoam and onto the plate, making sure that I don't get any hot glue on the bamboo portion of the, of the bowl from the thrift store turning the pasta bowl upside down and gluing the discs onto the pasta bowl like this also serves another purpose. The inspiration piece is shaped in a triangle. So this is going to help me with the shape of my succulent bowl. And it's also going to be very easy to place the succulents into these discs. I cut the last disc down to size so that it would fit up flush next to the two round discs that were already there. And now I am prepared to add my base. And instead of using moss, I decided to use boxwood picks. You'll see some uh, boxwood vine with leaves on the left hand side and I tried those out and those did not look good but I really felt that the boxwood would make a beautiful ground cover and you'll see as I add the boxwood that it's like really thick and it doesn't look like it's going to work out but it ends up working out so perfectly because all I had to do is take the boxwood picks, fold the stems in half, and lay them down inside the bowl. And what's going to happen is when I have all of the boxwood in and add some moss around it, what is going to press that boxwood down and hold it into the bowl securely is the succulents that I place on top of them. So I'll be able to reuse 
this boxwood if I need to or want to. It's in perfect condition. It's only bent over. And any spaces that were still showing through white foam, I used one bag of the reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. And sometimes it's hard to find uh, moss at the Dollar Tree. And if you buy it anywhere else, moss is one of those things that can be really costly. So using the boxwood as a ground cover worked out so well. Not only did it look natural and complement the piece, but it saved me a lot of money from having to buy any moss. I actually used most of my moss or quite a bit of my moss up and around the top of the snake plant because that's where the foam showed through uh, the most. Next, I'm going to begin adding the succulents to the bowl. And really, this is a huge reason that I chose the inspiration plant, number one, the shape and the snake plant on top and number two is the flowers that they had i could not match the flowers but when using an inspiration piece if you select the same colors and place them in the same manner you're going to get a very similar look to your inspiration piece i save all the stems left over from any florals that I take off of the stems and I use them to add length to anything that I need to be taller. And the succulents that you get at the Dollar Tree, this little succulent, if you buy succulents from the Dollar Tree, you'll know that some of them come in little planters and you pull them directly out of the planter and it's a very short little plastic stem so i added a long stem to this succulent to the plastic part and i used floral tape and floral tape is wonderful you just press it down with your finger and you stretch it and as you stretch and pull the floral tape adheres to the plastic and to the stem that you're adding and it has adhesive on it and it looks like a natural stem and when you need a long piece it's going to stick right into that floral very well and the other Dollar Tree succulents have a very thick base and if you don't need those longer you can leave the thick base and those stick into those discs very well. So I continue adding the florals. I added the green centerpiece, the yellow uh, succulent to the left and then I began adding uh, red succulents to the left of that and I don't know if you can see the stems but I have added long stems to these because you really have to get through a lot of that boxwood that we added and it not only goes through the boxwood but it also holds the boxwood into place beautifully and it hides the stems so the boxwood ended up working out much better than I anticipated. Now I'm adding dark succulents to the right hand side of the piece to match the inspiration piece. It was really dark on one side and the Dollar Tree has these wonderful really really dark succulents and then from michael's i purchased these succulents that have little stems 
and they're green with red tips and they make a great filler and these are an exact piece that were in the inspiration piece so that helps out quite a bit because at least we have some matching pieces from the inspiration piece we have these succulents that are used as fillers and the snake plant so that really makes a huge difference in how we view this in when in relation to the inspiration piece even though it's not the inspiration piece it gives the same vibe because it's got the same colors and they put it together so beautifully i just had to duplicate it the best that i could and i don't know if you noticed but to the left of the red flowers on the left hand side i added some spiky succulents because there were spiky pieces on the left hand side of the red succulents on the inspiration piece and from there i simply alternated the colors to make them look as close to the front as possible so that no matter which way you turn this centerpiece it's going to look beautiful from all sides i am so pleased with the way that this succulent bowl turned out i don't think it could be any more beautiful but when i added it to the plant stand it stood three feet tall and it is absolutely majestic it is so beautiful i really enjoyed making this project for you and i hope that it inspires you to make something beautiful if you enjoyed the project please share it with your friends like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be notified the next time i make a video until then thanks again and i will see you next time